Sarika from first year CEO. So today I would like to give a summary of a movie which is more like what I take as a role model. Like it's not one of my favorite but it is something that excites me and forces us to think about our view towards science. So the name of movie is 2.0 which is a upload uh, what we can say upgraded version of robot movie but the morals of both the movies are really really different so the movie starts with rajnikanth as a scientist vasikaran when the world is kind of facing something mysterious the mobile phones are just flying off and something is happening that is not in our cons uh, consideration the people on that planet or the people who are in that committee who handle these things don't have any idea about what is happening here so all the mobile phones are gone the world is really really far from this internet called something and now the scientists are trying to say that some are saying that it's a terrorist attack so other scientists said how can a terrorist have this technology that no one has ever imagined then the other scientists said that it's an alien attack okay so some thought that yeah it may be possible but why the mobile phones are not getting off from the earth if it's an alien technology it should get to their planet or something out of the earth but those mobile phones were reaching the up to the ozone layer and just went some height above it and got disappeared like their signals went off the mobiles were automatically switched off so that scientist thought about it and he thought that no we don't have something that can stop this for now we should study this that what exactly it is then research went on and then he saw that it is going when those mobiles get disconnected they get to signal for some fraction of second at some point in south india something called tiruvananthapuram at that place those mobile phones were getting on for fractions of some seconds so he went there he had one more robot a humanoid called neela he took her and they both went there for research they were having a device which helped them uh, receive the radiations coming from mobiles which are which were getting on for temporary sec some seconds they got those signals they chased it and when they reached there there were so many mobile phones just dumped as a garbage but they were off for their surprise it must be in on condition as they are getting signals later the other later he saw that no this can't be solved by us he went back when i said that there was first part of the robot movie he invented a robot called chitty so the chitty who has a memory of 1 terabyte <laughs> sorry the chitty was reactivated he took the permission from the defense system but as you know our defense system is so efficient we request for something and they deny it later next day the other officer who was just sitting beside that officer got attacked from the same energy the mobile his mobile phone cover has real diamonds and his mobile phone went into his stomach and when that minister was taken to operation theater that mobile phone just came out of his stomach just tearing off his stomach and that minister saw it so terrible and he approved the request on the spot but to his surprise vasikaran didn't wait for his permission he went into the museum took all the parts and he had assembled our chitty he took the help of chitty destroyed that power but between this getting the chitty and destroying that energy there was some part which is not in our study of science something called as aura he got that that energy which was trying to uh, some kind of take mobiles away from the humans it was not actually trying to disturb them 
it was trying to keep mobiles away but the reason was unknown that why this energy induced this he saw that there was a scientist a bird scientist who had so many love and affection towards the birds and he studied that this technology these radiations from our mobiles are affecting them too much the birds are getting affected the future generations are getting affected and this was not at all good for us he thought among this for several years made a research published many of the magazines and tried to stop humanity from using this mobiles but as normal humans don't listen to anything good at once so the his proposal was rejected in the seminars where the highest authorities of india were there and he was explaining something really very really crucial for indians but the ministers didn't agree to him they said that this small thing can't make such a large dis- disturbance to our ecosystem later he got very really really frustrated frustrated and held himself with a networking tower then the his aura when he died his aura went back to his place and he saw that all the aura of those died birds buried in his backyard were also there they all combined they had a mind which was really really angry and that was the power which was taking mobiles away from us so that power was a negative as i said it was really really angry then the vasikaran sat there he knew the concept of aura he had explained that just a few days before in a seminar where uh, i would like to say a few lines of that seminar he said that some saints a long time ago when sages used to do meditations for long long years their aura used to get spread amongst uh, their surroundings it was just uh, it is like a layer which is stick to our body which is directly related to our the emotions and the way we think so but he also observed that the positive aura is bigger and negative aura smaller and he got that there is something positive and something negative as this energy was negative it was having large amount of electrons and this scientist knew that minus plus will get zero so he developed a machine which will just shoot out the protons and make that energy into positive so that minus and plus will get cancelled and that energy will get destroyed but there was one problem that energy would need something to be stored if that thing was stored then only our experiment will get success as science we have something for the rest so he went that with the help of chitty and neela he destroyed him got him back and stored that energy in a cart got that cart i don't know exactly its name but it was stored in the museum of defense system but here comes the villain of the story the son of dr bora in the uh, in the first part of robot also the there was a scientist called dr bora who made the chitty as a villain who changed the programming in him and inserted a different kind of programs that could destroy same applies to this his son done the same thing took that energy gave it negative electrons again revived it that energy now came with anger for vasikar as you know that he has killed him then he started to harm humans because he knew that human has harmed him now it's time to take revenge so he started killing people who were protecting dr vasikar later he again tried in the what we say he went uh, wait as we said it was an aura he was not having any body so there is some sort of energy through that he entered vasikara's body in this movie and then he tries to stop people as vasikara is try- trying to stop people that don't use this mobile he took the body took the speakers and was just shouting on the road but no one gave him attention again now he had that energy to destroy all of them 
he started doing that he again killed the chitti again tried to harm neela but this time neela wasn't yet destroyed she took some parts of chitti went to the lab recreated him and made a another version of chitti that's called the 2.0 the title of her movie 2.0 he was more dangerous and killing and had a sharp mind because he was programmed by humans but now the human and artificial intelligence both have come together the topic of our course the both have come together and created something new so this 2.0 has the potential to think like humans like robots and do whatever he wants to do that robot went to the stadium where the what do you say that doctor pakshi rajan his name was the scientist bird scientist so pakshi rajan went to a stadium he said that like you humans have led to the death of birds because of radiation you will have to suffer the same here he went to a stadium announced it over there all the people just got scared that what's happening here but chitti knew about this he got some news then he had created something new for this the version 3.0 like it was like a micro robot in blending micro robot which can turn itself like a cell phone it can turn itself into a robot in a section and another time of second it will be a phone like it will go towards the pakshi rajan but he will not let to know because it's like a spy they can destroy with all the powers chitti had but they are miniaturized miniaturized and also like a spy they just got turned to a mobile they went to his wings blasted over his wings and vasikaran just got fall here like the body of vasikaran and that aura remained he took all the words aura again the fight went on between 2.0 and the aura the aura uh, 2.0 knew that he cannot destroy this aura because he was not having any gadget anymore so he took him to a research center in south india itself which was sending positive signals from the earth towards the moon towards the satellites that everything over uh, around this area is positive so there was a technology there was a receiver here was a transmitter and it was just transmitting the positive signals to point of click he took the negative energy somehow towards that transmitter neutralized it and save the humanity from it for the time but the moral of this story is that we can get something like that in real because we are not stopped yet yet the research have de uh, declared that this cell phone cannot do anything harmful to the birds but there are many other things we are doing we are uh, having deforestation on a large scale we are cutting trees on a large scale we are producing air pollution water pollution soil erosion etc 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 we should be careful this is the moral of the story thank you